the bank of British West Africa and Barclays Bank, both were uh, British banks. So we had formed union at that time. And so we were also agitating for pay increase because we had to wear time and I come first. Well, we, we are working for you. And then when you send any white boy from England, he comes and lives in a bungalow, having a car, and we don't have anything. And so we need some uh, raise. They said they won't give it to us. So uh, the executives of the Barclays Bank Union and Bank of uh, British West Africa, which I was part of it, you know, we went to a meeting that we were going to go on strike around uh, three days or two days to Christmas. So all around the country, we decided that we were going to go on strike. And so we had a slogan. And the slogan that we will use is that the day the earth stood still. So we all will go to uh, work, pretending as if there's no, there's nothing. Because we have been fighting and saying they won't give us any, any salary increase. So it's okay, we go to work. But we knew what we were doing. So we went to work. Christmas was coming. People were coming. And then we opened the bank, uh, we were working around 9 o'clock, all of a sudden we sent a message to all the country banks of British Bank, Banks of West Africa and Barclays Bank, the day the earth stood still. So we put our pens down, no work. We sat there and Cosmet had lined up. There was a commotion and they brought a free fight to come and trust in us. And then we had a meeting with a free fight. I remember very well, very, very well, we had a meeting with a free fight. And the free fight said, it is illegal to go on strike. And he was threatening, and I raised up my hand. He said, what do you have to say? I said, it was illegal for you to state coup d'etat. When you succeeded, it became legal for you. That has been my life. I'm not afraid of anybody. <laughs>